slightly different approach this time in this problem. Um, here we've got a car with a kinetic energy of 4.32 times 10 to the fifth joules when it's traveling at a speed of 23 meters per second. We're looking for its mass now. Now we have not done a problem like this so far, uh, but it's the same equation. You're just manipulating for a different variable. Okay, so we know we're looking for the mass. We are given the kinetic energy. So Ke is equal to 4.32 times 10 to the fifth joules. And it's got a speed of 23 meters per second. We know that kinetic energy is equal to one half mass times velocity squared. Okay. So we can go ahead and plug in what we know. So we've got 4.32 times 10 to the fifth joules is equal to one half m times 23 meters per second squared. Okay. I remember I need to distribute that 2, or the square, excuse me, to both 23 and to the units. Okay, so I've got 4.32 times 10 to the fifth joules is equal to 1 half m times 23 squared is 529 meters squared per seconds squared. Okay, at this point, since I don't have to really do um, anything in parentheses anymore, um, I'm going to go ahead and isolate m, which is my mass that I'm looking for. I can do this by dividing both sides by 1 half and 529. So I'm going to get 4.32 times 10 to the fifth joules, right, times 2, because that's divided by 1 half, divided by 529 meters squared per second squared. That's going to be all equal to m. Okay, now just m, so no square root here. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and solve for my numerator first. So I've got 4.32. And remember, with scientific notation, I'm going to have to put my number in parentheses, use that little ee -E button for times 10 to the, and then put the number in for my exponent. So 4.32 e5, that's 4.32 times 10 to the fifth, times 2. So I've got 8, 6, 864,000 or 8.64 times 10 to the fifth joules divided by 529 meters squared per second squared. Okay, let's take that and divide it by 529. And that's going to give us a mass of 1,633 kilograms. Now, if you can remember that this should be in kilograms, as long as everything's in SI units, that is fine. However, similar to the last problem, let's go ahead and just kind of take a little segue to see how we can um, take joules divided by meters squared per second squared to get kilograms. So remember, a joule is a newton times a meter. A newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. So times meters, kilogram, meters squared per second squared. And if we take that and divide by meters per second squared, that's the same thing as multiplying by second squared per meter squared. You see our meter squared cancel, second squared cancel, you're left in just kilograms, and that works out perfectly.